Hello and welcome to Internet Comment Etiquette. I'm Eric, your host, and today we're going to talk about global warming and how to leave proper and respectful comments on it. Now, there's a lot of videos on the Internet about whether or not global warming is real, such as this one by David Icke. Hello and welcome and to this video cast. It's a blatant lie about the planet being in mortal danger and from the ice um, at the poles is not receding. And a global tyranny. Oh, okay, I see where he's coming from. Let's hit him with one of these. Hey, you old limey bitch, I know people are supposed to get paranoid as they age and lose touch with reality, but you're really taking it to new heights with this used condom of a video. Take this Da Vinci Code bullshit back with you to bingo night, you British biff tannin looking pussy. And post! I mean, look at that. It's the same guy. <laughs> Okay, well climate change has only really been an important topic for the last like few decades, so there's not really a precedent set on how to comment on it online yet. So let's set our own precedent with this trailer for a movie called Climate Hustle, which paints man-made climate change as a myth. Let's take a look at that trailer. Oh, wow, this looks... Uh... Now, something tells me those dancing penguins were photoshopped. Okay, well, Jesus Christ. Now, this was uploaded by C-Fact. I feel like I know those guys. Now, if I'm right, it's a non-profit organization that's raised over half a million dollars from ExxonMobil since 1998. Oh, cool, I was right. Oh, that, not that it matters, but I'm going to leave my comment now. Bounced on my boy's Arctic Vortex to this for hours. Thanks for the great trailer for what I'm sure is going to be an eye-opening documentary. The whole thing just screams, no ExxonMobil money here. I'm sure you cheesy little pricks all have beachfront property. What with the corruption and the oil money. Which means the joke's going to be on you when you wake up one morning to find a glacier full of polar bear skeletons floating through your backyard. There are entire abandoned neighborhoods in Detroit less shady than what you've got going on here. BTW, check out my Facebook page, Nude Celebs for free. Best Kathy Bates nudes on the planet so you can pump your evil old dicks full of crude and shoot it out on a baby pelican. And post! Ugh. Oh shit. Ugh. Another interesting thing about this documentary is that it was backed by Sarah Palin who, as you may know, is a uh, former prostitute who rose to power in her lawless town of Antarctica. But if you don't know who Sarah Palin is, she made a whole documentary about herself. Check this out. I was at 2% in the polls. We didn't have a prayer. And at the absolute pivotal moment, Governor Palin came down to Texas. Oh, this video is going to get the best comment. Mess with the Mama Grizzly. The Mama Grizzly movement is going to take over the country. Oh, that's going to be oh, I'm going to reference that in my comment. Thank you for fighting for my children, for your children. Okay, let's scroll down and leave. God damn it! All right, maybe one of her other videos says, no! Fuck! Okay, well, it looks like all of her comment sections are disabled. I wonder why that is. I mean, it's so strange, because if I go here to her Facebook page, where comments are completely enabled, the etiquette is great. Global warming appears to be propaganda to give government more control over our ownership of land. I fucked my cousin last week. It was great. His name was Ishmael. I don't, I'm not even sure how he got a Jew name. Oh, wait, she didn't write that. There is no history on the temperature over 80 years anywhere in the world except New York. Okay, not sure that's the correct version of accept there you're looking for. They have given you all the facts. You refuse to accept them. See, now that's how you use it. That's how you use it. Drunk Bale in 2016. I fucked my cousin. Whoa, great crowd. So uh, anyway, before this global warming completely melts my body down to nothing, I'm going to leave uh, this comment. Hey, Sarah, you loopy batshit set of Bluetooth speakers for big oil. Holy fuck, you are so goddamn stupid. I can't believe I've never left a comment for you before, so I'm understandably a bit nervous in case you see this comment. Then again, if you do try to read it, your bird-like brain might stop paying attention the moment your blessing of a daughter jingles the keys to her brand new Lexus while stumbling out the door, full of schnapps and more bastard children. All I'm saying is I never thought I'd see what a stroke on two legs would look like until you started doing press conferences. You're also pretty fat for a 70-year-old, so I'd suggest some cardio, maybe as a sleigh dog up there in your ice kingdom of the state, which I'm guessing we'll all look back on with fond memories once it's become a cold puddle in the ocean. But hey, sleigh dog should be a familiar job considering what the Koch brothers pay you for, you fucking idiot! Get the fuck off my fucking television! And Okay, so I guess you guys can tell by now that I believe that global warming is real. But I mean, like, come on. Show me one piece of compelling evidence 
against global warming being something we should worry about. I dare you to show me one piece of... Well, actually, this is pretty compelling. This is actually very compelling. Okay, well, I feel very compelled by that, so let's move along and take a look at our next global warming video, which is... Top 10 signs that global warming is no longer a blah 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 and play. After existing for millennia, the northern section of the Larsen B ice shelf in Antarctica collapsed between January and March of 2002. Nope, that's not how it happened. Hurricanes and tropical storms are both fueled and intensified depending on how rapidly water can evaporate from the ocean. Nope, that's a wrong fact. Temperature rise due to climate change may radically change the global economy. Okay, well, I'm ready to leave my comment. I would give you top 10 reasons this video is full of fear-mongering horseshit, but there's only one reason, and it's just a photo of me fucking your sister. And get mad at ExxonMobil all you want, but you still put their gas in your fucking Volvos, you sheep bitches. Read up on how the hole in the ozone layer is shrinking, and you'll see that there's nothing to worry about here. These are capital letters denoting the final word in the matter, and post. Oh boy, it sure is cold in here. I'm freezing. I don't even know if I can drink this cold beer. It's getting colder by the minute. Uh, 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 my ulcer! This is Charles. Uh oh, what's this? Coke. Oil barons. No, no, nope, this is bad. This is all incorrect. Pay no attention to this. Thinks the world that global warming doesn't exist. No, 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 no. Don't worry about that. In 2007, Coke paid scientists to publish a bogus study that polar bears weren't being affected by climate change. No, no, no. Look, I know that sounds bad. It's not bad. Cokes have funded dozens of supposedly independent think tanks. Look, don't worry about they that. They fund business groups, women's groups, college okay, don't groups, worry about that either. seniors groups, and even church groups. Aw oh, man, I better correct him. CO2 is not pollution. That's the main lie. It's plant food. Without CO2 in our atmosphere, we're all dead. Period. And pu- Oh, never mind. Somebody beat me to it. Okay, good work, Mike. I'm going to give him a thumbs up. And finally, we're going to end this lesson with this little cuck right here. Al Gore. That's right, the spinster who created the global warming myth in the first place. And I'm going to disprove global warming so hard right now. Al Gore, you're the biggest pussy on the planet. You're such a pussy that I feel compelled to eat you. Because all I eat is beer and pussy. God damn do I love eating pussy. I eat so much pussy that it's on the endangered species list. If my boy Notch ever made a video game where all you do is eat pussy and you took the highest score ever, I would still eat more pussy than that in real life. If there was an all-you-could-eat pussy buffet, they would have to close down in a week because of me. They call me Alpha around the way because I'm always trying to eat that puss. If it was possible to actually drown in pussy, I would mutate to grow gills and become Aquaman. Only guy who's eating more pussy than me is Michael Douglas, but he's a Democrat, so fuck him. Global warming isn't real. And got a little off mission there, but post! Okay, good night, and if you learned anything from this lesson, then shame on you. Oh, good, that check cleared. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Amazon, look up barrel of lube, fantastic, and ask question. Can I dump this whole thing down the sewer to make global warming happen faster? Because I really just want to wipe out the human race.